the OEA and the Hawk Slash Bird family have um, awarded me with six thousand dollars to help with my training and show fees and just to help give me a leg up to get into the producing this horse and getting to the upper levels. And so honored and humbled to be selected as the 2023 recipient of the Zara Bird Memorial Award. We can make it. This award is, is huge in the venting com community. Um, because it's in the name of a young girl named Zara Burren who um, d she died tragically in, in 2020 and her family put this um, annual bursary together for young riders that kind of embody Zara's uh, spirit of uh, being hardworking, like good horsemanship, um, team player, all of her um, qualities. Um, so, so in order to apply, um, Addison needed to demonstrate all of those qualities. And um, it was a very intensive selection process and we were so thrilled that she was chosen. I mean, the financial portion, the financial support is, is a huge deal for our family, but also just having the, um, just them choosing her that, that they see Zara's uh, reflection in her was very proud for, for her dad and I, so. So I've been competing since about, since I was, I'd say five or six, and I'm 14 now. And we have a goal that in 2025, or just a few years from now, to get this horse to the North American Young Riders Championships. So Griffin, in May, we are planning on going to our very first horse trial, and that will be at the lowest level until we can eventually work our way up. So there's a lot of training involved and a lot of time. I love the partnership and the trust between the horse and the rider because you can't just get on a random horse and expect it to be perfect. Like you have to have this connection. Like if you were figure skating or doing any other partnered sport, like you need to have a relationship with your partner in order to succeed and it's such a rewarding feeling when you're like teaching your horse something and you like he gives it to you he understands and it makes you feel like you're succeeding Addie's very she's demonstrated a huge dedication to the horses and and to the sport we have horses at home as well and so she is here six days a week caring for this horse she's working at this barn to try to offset some of the costs involved with with keeping Griffin here and then after she works here, then she has to go home and help out with our horses at home because they still need to be cared for. So she's very dedicated. The horses are, are always coming first and she's set out some long-term and, and short-term goals. And I think if, as long as this horse is happy and she's, he's happy to do his work, um, I think we're gonna see how far, how far she's willing to go with it.